Alright folks, hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. My name is Leader Grev, um, and this will is hopefully not going to be my last video, so this is going to be my first on CubeTubers. Hopefully this won't be my last video for CubeTubers. Um, recently, I asked Disrespecting about hosting on hosting videos on uh, the CubeTubers YouTube page, and he asked you guys in one of his videos, I believe it was in a survival island let's play, I'm not sure, uh, what you guys thought of my videos, and last I checked the response was largely um, that you guys were happy with it, were happy with my videos, that you liked them, and so this is hopefully going to be, going to be huh, the beginning of a long and successful partnership with CubeTubers. And I noticed that you guys like, or at least there are a lot of challenge maps uh, on uh, CubeTubers, so I decided to do the 404 challenge. The thing you need to do is you need to plug in 404 into the uh, seed generator, you create the world, and you, if you don't spawn, you have to reset the map, but you should spawn next to an enormous gravel pit. Let's see if that's where I am. It doesn't appear as though I am. Oh, no, there it is. This is it. This is the Gravel Pit of Magic, and the idea in this challenge is that um, you have one day to collect all the materials you need, and then as soon as it becomes night, you need to go find shelter, and being the smart person you are, you go prodding in some gravel, which opens up a sinkhole, which leads underground, and um, a sinkhole is right underneath that gravel and you need to collect all the supplies you need, and there are some supplies you desperately need when you're doing this. Those are um, uh, saplings, seeds for sure, because I've, I've recorded this twice already, and both times I have completely failed going down because it's been dark when I go down. You can't have any torches when you go into this cave, so at the bottom you have to rely on the lava, and if you have them, Ooh, that's interesting. You have to rely on uh, jack-o'-lanterns, which are harder to get. And this is going to be a bit slowly, going to be going a bit slowly because the world is slowly expanding around me. Uh, so you need seeds, dirt, um, you want tools. Cacti are a good idea as a defensive measure, actually. Just planting cacti around your base of operations because you get us in... This is all measured in points. I don't think I'll be scoring myself that way. But uh, this can all be measured in points, and um, having a base that is that mobs can get into is a certain amount of points in itself. So I'm going to need to get some trees. Trees are absolutely essential to something like this. Uh, especially saplings. Saplings coming from these trees, and I really hope that this tree drops a whole lot of saplings, because if it doesn't, I am absolutely going to be screwed. I need to do this as quickly as possible. I've learned from my mistakes. There's absolutely no way, or it's highly challenging to get down uh, into the sinkhole, into this cave, when the sun is already setting, because... You don't have the sun to shine down and defeat all the monsters that are between you and that uh, that little cave at the bottom. So things get really tough. The goings get rough, as one would say. And this whole row of trees is just being obnoxious. Because it's all connected to another tree. But I see saplings already, which makes me extremely happy. Although I can't dilly-dally with this. This whole sapling deal is going to have to a little bit faster. I think I just saw another one drop. Yes, there's a third one. Alright. And I'll let that be for now. Thanks. I think a bit of a lag problem. And I'll actually get to making myself a crafting bench. And in this crafting bench, I will make myself the tools that I need. Oh, I think it was just starting to rain um, in-game. 
I've had that happen once and it's really freaked me out because it actually sounds like the beginning of a song I have on my iTunes and it's happened before that I've accidentally turned on iTunes while I was playing. So I was kind of worried that maybe accidentally somehow my music turned on. That's not the case, that's actually rain. Oh man, alright. Oh, and I'm definitely going to need a sword. And actually, more so... Actually, not more so than a sword. A sword is just as important as this, but... Let's grab one of these swords. Ooh, time to strike. Achievement get! Achievement get! I'm going to be saying that whenever I get an achievement. I'm going to need seeds. Seeds are like nuts. Because down, once you go down, there's no coming back up. So you need to make do with what you have and what you've gathered. If you haven't gathered seeds or bacon, well actually, you can live without bacon, but seeds are harder to live without. You can't live without bacon in real life, but in Minecraft and in an underground cave, I think you can live without bacon for a while. And this is enough seeds. And what's the time? Alright, it's about midday. I need to move really quickly because I want to be down and out. I need to be standing in line for this sinkhole by um, way before the sun starts setting. And I think I just saw jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns, fantastic. Good, good. Jack-o'-lanterns are the only form of coalish light you can use because you can't use torches. Jack-o'-lanterns, totally, totally fine. Uh, according to the rules, jack-o'-lanterns are totally chill. You can use jack-o'-lanterns, no problem. And let's see. I'm going to actually want to make myself a chest because last time I did this, I died. As I've already said, last two times I've done this, I've died multiple, multiple times. If I had time to check my stats right now, actually, I think I can check my stats. Let me show you. Statistics. Uh, let's see. Items drop 36. Um, I don't see where it shows my death. Um, that's irrelevant right now, but I've died quite a bit of times trying to get down into that sinkhole, and it has not been pleasant at all. It's been really bad, because I'd get down there, and I'd have a whole lot of stuff, and I'd be psyched, and then, bam, I'd just die from some unseen force. Last time I did it, I was in water, and a creeper just decided to blow up right next to me, which was horribly, horribly upsetting. And I'm going to get this coal for furnaces, because furnaces are always a very good idea. Especially when you're underground and you don't want to die. So, actually, let's make some magic right now. And have these jack-o'-lanterns done. Bam! Bam, bam, bam! Fantastic. And I actually think that's good enough for now. Got... I can craft myself stuff when I'm down there. I'm actually, I'm not going to make myself a chest. I'm just going to go bacon hunting right now. Maybe I'll go cow hunting, but cow hunting is less productive because if I don't get enough for armor, then I'm already, like, at a loss. I have all this armor and I just simply can't use it, or all this leather, I mean, and I simply can't use it because I can't get any more. So it's much less productive. So basically, I'm going to go hunt some pigs. What's the time? I don't see what time it is. What is this? Can't. Oh, the sun's probably over there. Oh, this is not good. I think the sun's about to set. Oh, no meat? That's that's not cool. That's so not cool. And you would think that I would have spent more time... Oh, oops. It just fell into there. At the surface. But no, the surface is not all it's cracked up to be when you need to get down. And you really want to get down with all of your stuff. You want to survive on the way down. The way down is probably one of the most challenging parts of this this whole endeavor. If you can't make it down, you're horribly at loss. You're just very, 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 very screwed. Like unbelievably screwed. Like it's so bad you won't even you won't even believe it. It's so unbelievable. Why did I just switch from shovel to and I need this dirt so that I can plant stuff. And, ooh, I just broke into a cave. This is probably actually part of the sinkhole. Alright, so let's get to this. I don't see where the sun is at this point. But I'm going to assume that 
Do I have cactuses? Yes, I have eight cactuses. Work your magic, Minecraft physics. Right, let's go. Let's do this slowly. We gotta make our way down and hopefully not die. Okay. So that's one used up. Oh, jeez, this is bad. This is very bad. Alright, that's where I need to go. I need to get to that lava. Let's eat this meat. Do I have any other sources of food? No, that's it. That's where I need to go. Alright. Come on, I can make this. I can make this. Oh, yes! Success! Freaking success. This is, if I'm right, the first time I've actually gotten down here successfully. And the irony, hold on, you guys might not believe this. It's so unbelievable. Last time I got down here... Oops, I don't want to die here. This, that would be a shame. That would be a crying shame. Watch. Look at this. Oh, whoops. Not that. Don't look at that. Where is it? Huh, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, look at that diamond right there. And I hear zombies and all sorts of other critters roaming around. And actually, I have one torch, but because it's against the rules... Oh, jeez. We can deal with rules after I deal with you. Bam, bam, bam. Blech. There you go. I can officially not break the rules. And you know what? I'm going to try to work in a safe environment. So other than spiders... And actually, I can get rid of spiders to a degree. I can't stop spiders from coming up here. Although it's probably not likely to be successful. Oh, okay, this is going to be tough. I'm probably going to have to sow the seeds right here. Let's get this to work. Let's put Minecraft to work. I want to put some seeds right there. Have stuff, get stuff on the grow down. Uh, and hopefully we can have ourselves a working and efficient farm as quickly as possible. Do I have a crafting bench with me? No, I didn't think to make a crafting bench for whatever reason. And I keep hearing zombies and that's absolutely terrifying because I have lava in my vicinity. I wonder if that's a that's probably a very bad idea. So I'll put my furnaces there. All right, let's see. Okay, that's creepy. Nothing better sneak up on me. That would be horrible. I would be so upset, like unbelievably upset. It would just be very bad. Let's cut off all possible entrances. I don't want anything getting up here. There's a little zombie chilling by the lava. I've noticed that zombies seem to be more aware of their surroundings now. Don't know why. Oh, and I'm fortunately out of cobble. Out of life-giving cobble. So let's get us as much as we possibly can. I thought I just heard a creeper, but that would be so bad. That would just ruin my day. So I would like to hope that that wasn't a creeper. Bam, 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 bam. There you go. Hot topic. Achievement get. There you go. And I'm going to need a hoe. I'm going to need a hoe going, going on in here. Don't think I'll need this. Actually, you know what? Just get rid of the wood right away. Um, okay. That's creepily close. Ah, there you are. Oh, hi there. How's it going? How's it going, buddy? Bam. Oh, jeez. This is very bad. I'm not liking how this looks. How's, how's it going? Come on. Come on, buddy. Give me a sign. Alright, you're not important. As long as I'm safe from you, I'm happy. So let's 
bam, bam. Right there, we got a hoe. Yikes. And we're out. Uh huh. So, what else did I make? Nothing at this point. Let's get to the hoeing. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. bam. 